what's up? Amanda Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is exciting because we're finally going to pick up the Evo 8 from Fabrication. In case you don't remember, we dropped it off probably a few months ago, I would say. There was a very long waiting list with Axiom. Um, he is a very well-known fabricator in this local area of Brevard County. So I am super amped to see the changes that we made in the Evo. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but from the pictures that we got, it looks killer. So I'm so excited. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, so we just got to Axiom's. The car's already outside. Ah, I miss seeing this car. It just looks so good. Can't tell anything's been done to it, so that's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Wait till you guys see what we did to this car. Alrighty guys, so we just got the Evo strapped back down. Uh, I'm not gonna give away all of the goodies yet, but I will tell you, it is pretty crazy, the custom mods that were done to this car. So we're gonna get it home, unload it, and I will show you everything that got done. All right guys, so here is the Evo. Uh, it looks somewhat the same, but there's a bunch of small differences that you're not going to pick up. So we're going to start off with the most basic. Um, back here, we've got a bracket that we got made from Axiom. Um, so this is going to go right behind here. And it's going to replace that fuel pressure regulator. And so it's going to sit kind of right behind there. Um, so that's one thing that we got done from Axiom. That's going to go with the mechanical fuel pump. We did get a storage tank finally, which is hidden down there. It is all the way down there. And it's actually pretty big. It's like two and a half. Yeah, two and a half gallon. Two and a half gallon surge tank that he made down there. It looks sick and he even branded it Axiom. Looks sick. Surge tank is there. Of course, we've got a new intercooler pipe here that he made custom. Um, it is not a two and a half inch or two and a quarter. It's a three inch pipe now. So he did hand make that himself, modified it just a little bit down there because we had to change the intercooler at the bottom on both sides. We just adjusted it just a little bit. And to show you guys that and everything else that we did, we're gonna go ahead and show you the main mod that we did, which if you don't remember, we did a tubular front end. So this entire front end comes off in one piece. So to do that, we have to take off these four bolts here, one, two, three, four down low. There's two bolts here and then two behind the headlight on each side. So we're gonna take those off and show you the new tubular front end for the Evo 8. Check it out. So to go from a full front end like this to a removable tubular front, you have to do a few things. You have to first take off your front bumper. You can do either a quick disconnect latch, which we don't have yet. Um, you have to take off your intercooler pipes, the oil cooler hoses, the radiator hoses, um, and fuel lines from the surge tank. There are a couple of those. Um, you also would want to probably do a quick disconnect pin, um, which we are about to do, and the hood release cable. All has to come off to get to this point then everything comes off super pretty easily. Um, it's highly recommended to do a tubular front end because obviously it makes it super easy to work on your motor, to pull anything that you need to do. Um, it's gonna make our life so much easier. Uh, we work on the motor quite often. If you own an Evo, you already know this. So for the bolt holes, these are all the locations where the latchings of the bolts go. Um, there's two that are on the side of each wheel well that I did not mark in this. Um, but overall, this is where everything is going to be taking place. And uh, it's absolutely amazing. Axiom does such an amazing job with everything. He fabricates it himself and does such outstanding work. I would highly recommend him if you are in the area or if you are even in Florida, I would try and reach out to Axiom. He does killer work. So this is what the Evo 8 is gonna look like when we pull the front bumper and take the intercooler off. 
We've got clean access to basically everything you can think of right here in the front. Um, it's pretty cool how he designed the whole thing. So this is the intercooler where the bottoms are gonna sit now. Um, and this, he mounted the oil cooler on the back of the intercooler, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty solid. And then he used just bungs on the bottom of the intercooler, welded them and then tapped them. And that's what holds them in spots on these. Um, and we have the option for this tubular front end that if you want to take just the top off, we can. If you want to take just the bottom off, we can. Um, all because of this extra bolt right here. So basically they can separate, which is a pretty cool idea. So here is the new case um, that we have for the Evo. We did get it powder coated, just like a custom OEM silver, really. Super glossy, did a really awesome job. We went with a local guy. Um, and the reason why we did that is because we have something else for the Evo 8. Huge update for the Evo 8 is we have a Liberty Gears dog box. Um, super amped about this because we want the Evo to be super fast and sequential is obviously crazy awesome and super, super expensive. So uh, an alternative is going to be a dog box. So we got the Liberty Gears dog box. Um, it is going to be a first through fourth straight cut um, gears on those. You can kind of see how they're straight cut on these and those down there. Um, so that's going to be pretty freaking sick. I'm super excited about that. So we also have the string gauge shifter inside somewhere that we've had for a minute, but we've been waiting to get everything back from fabrication and powder coating. The string gauge shifter is to make the first to fourth um, clutch of shifting, uh, just to make everything smoother for the dog box, obviously. Um, we also have a few more mods that we're doing for the Evo. So let me show you those next. So for the engine bay area, um, what we have that we still have to do for the mechanical fuel pump, we still have to route all the fuel lines and basically the whole fuel system we have to build basically so we can make the surge tank um, included in the whole loop of everything. Um, we've got all the wires for the front end and everything all just kind of sitting right here. We have to make a quick disconnect somewhere around here to make it easier so when we pull off the front end, we just quick disconnect and it's done. So we have to do all of that. Um, we also have to do the injector um, wiring harness, which we already have, it's plug and play. We just have to set it up and put it together. Um, once we get everything like that done and said and the car is running, we should be able to pump that up to like 45 or 50 pounds of boost. We're gonna see, uh, this Evo is going to be stupid fast. Um, we're pushing for over a thousand horsepower as it is. Are you happy over there? Yeah, now I can just take this turbo off and work everything. And I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. Gotta do anything. <laughs> All right. So overall, I think he is super happy. I'm super happy. Who doesn't love a fun Evo? So stay tuned for more updates on the Evo, guys. We'll be back.